showcase. A stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments. Mankind has achieved his dream! This is home. On the biggest stage. The boyhood dream! What did we just see? Daniel Bryan did it! The Miracle Kid! To the greatest conflicts. From the biggest names. But this showcase <laughs> is about a man. <laughs> a man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx in the mail, said I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're gonna put the US title on you, and then we're gonna take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all of that's never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Mark Marrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I got to wonder if on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Chick the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his reptile. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake is gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one small match in the King of oh, the yeah. Competition, and the Rattlesnake 
showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stomping a mud <laughs> hole and yes. Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity oh. from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounding toward Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh, man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turn bucket, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, man. I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is going to be able to get back to his feet. When his strike lands, you can darn sure feel it in the first few rows. Very nicely done. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Two. One. Two. Three. Well, it could be a changing of the Six. guard here tonight. The old man and the rattlesnake, huh, partner? Seven. Heading to the top rope. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. look easy getting his attention with a vicious strike oh you can imagine every one of those blows jr it's like thunder and lightning right into his belly every time he moves well jake roberts had a choice he didn't have to come out here yeah but this is king of the ring and you know you'll do whatever it takes to win Look out, he's got his sight set on the neck region. I've never seen Steve Austin possess this much anger. This, watch it! He's got his eyes set on his chest. It's Jake the Snake Roberts with the reversal. A textbook maneuver there. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Man, that one rocked him. A thunderous leg drop. Well, we're on the move here. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. Inside the ring again. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Ah! 
Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. This might not end well. Oh, my. Steve Austin. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. The King of the Ring Finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stunner. Stunner. With a stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts. And the referee counts as three. And Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout and now reigning King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new King of the Ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's going to look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel him wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 3.16. Austin 3.16 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his pride. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. As, yes, as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come, and when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Obviously anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, no. Stone Cold Stunner. Oh, come there on. you go. Come on. Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with
with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, well, watch the first step, because it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Victoria, Texas, weighing 250 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. The man who could unquestionably spoil the comeback attempt of Bret the Hitman Hart. You talk about qualifications, King. This man, Stone Cold Steve Austin, could ruin Bret the Hitman Hart's career. You know, JR, I saw Steve Austin a few years ago in the Sportatorium down in Dallas, Texas. And you could see the greatness, the potential greatness. It's all about attitude, then and now. An attitude, I might add, that is somewhat appreciated by this capacity crowd. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett. Hitman Hart! The Hitman, Bret Hart, looking to electrify this capacity crowd. And everyone, and I mean everyone, are on their feet. Well, he's back. He ain't no clown. He ain't no trash man. He's a fierce competitor. And so is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what it's all about, JR. Wrestling, competition, intensity, athleticism, and drama. And we're going to experience it all in this one match here tonight. Well, this should be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, best there ever will be. This should be great. Brett the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound. Austin likes to brawl. Oh, likes oh yeah. To, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin used the sharpshooter to make Bret Hart submit? And he brings the action back inside the ring. Steve Austin with the offense. Four. Five. Six. And he's headed back in. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He 
was ready for that one. I don't think you're going to see a lot of high flying or a lot of risk taking in this matchup, JR. Oh, I don't know. I think he might see it all. Well, you could. I think both these guys would prefer to keep it on the ground and mat wrestle and punish and hurt and intimidate. Well, Stone Cold is likely to ground it out if he thinks he can. And the same with the Hitman. And now Bret Hart pushing forward. His strike hits nothing but air. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. Up he goes. Watch out. Oh, and he eats a mouthful of canvas. Ooh, that looked devastating. Not the most effective striking here. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that wild attack won't find a home. Suplex! Steve Austin being pressed hard. This may very well be it. The speed! The collision! Good night! Bret Hart is scaling the ropes. Whoa! And there's the reversal. And he goes down hard. Man, they're going at it here. Look at this. Yeah, Bret Hart, he won't quit. He doesn't know how to quit. Bret Hart looking to end this quickly. Look at this. Bret Hart doing some good work here. Easily avoided. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. When he gets going like this, there are few better. The counter. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. He's in big trouble. He knows how to get you in his clutches and make things impossible to get out of. Steve Austin being pressed hard. Looking for all the glory here. Bret Hart with the offense. Calgary's own Bret Hart looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. Steve Austin now being set up by the hitman. Well, Bret Hart is battled and he's been pummeled, but now Bret Hart is on the offense. Time will tell if the hitman has the strength, conditioning, and perseverance to finish Stone Cold off. A nice driver. Oh, man. How do you stand after an attack like this? He's pulling out all the stops tonight. He lights up his chest with that shot. Dishing out some serious punishment here. The toll from this match is really starting to show. You know, doing some checking. Neither of these two men have ever submitted in a match in their entire career, JR. Both men with strong wills, King. Proud hearts, neither willing to give an inch. Well, I believe it's going to come down to a submission in this matchup, which would obviously be a first. And how humiliating it would be for one of these guys to give up right here in New York City. How are we? There's a counter. Stay down! Stay down! You can almost see the air rush out of Brett's body. Now Austin needs to capitalize here. You're right, another high impact. Austin should go for the lungs, the back, dry the air out of him. I don't care how he's looking for the win. And that wild attack won't find a home. 
the hitman Bret Hart has met his match, JR. You're right, King. Steve Austin has proven tonight that the rattlesnake is a lot more than a schoolyard bully. Well, he punished the hitman's upper body early, and he's been relentless despite Bret Hart kicking out so often. He misjudged the range on that one. He's showing no signs of letting up. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. And he slaps it on. Yep, that's the reversal by Bret Hart. And he goes for the pin. Oh, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Bret Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another Bulldog. But Austin, Austin counters. Oh. There's Hart sturdled first into the turnbuckle. Oh, man, look at this, JR. Both men down. to his opponent. He's simply reminding him that he's there. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. strong your legs are that hurts oh once you get out of the ring anything can happen you've got exposed steel concrete the barricades and all of it can be used to cause massive damage steve austin making his statement as we speak between the ropes. Eight. And he's headed back in. One. He's in full on attack mode now. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is this amount of power. And a counter, wow. Austin's just opening a can. And now he goes for it for a second time. Bret Hart is scaling the ropes. Look out below. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. Oh!
He's showing no signs of letting up. He's really been zeroed in on, but he's still showing some signs of life. He's going for the top rope. These shots by the... Oh, my gosh! Talk about shattered dreams! And a huge blow to his back. Oh, nice counter. Oh, out of nowhere. This spells trouble right here. Oh my, Steve Austin. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. the reversal from Bret Hart. Watch it! I mean, there is nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. The counter. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. He's showing no signs of letting up. That's how you make an impact. Hart hits the mat. He's got his shoulders planted to the mat. And there's the schoolboy. Here we go. Two, three. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, I think this could, well, this could very well be a submission match, JR. These two men trying to manipulate the holes to make one or the other submit. We know Brett's got the sharpshooter, and I think Austin might have a trick or two up his sleeve. Well, we'll have to see about that, King, because as you can see, Austin's sleeveless tonight. Look at the intensity as they lock up. Man, they're going at it here. Look at this. Yeah, Bret Hart, he won't quit. He doesn't know how to quit. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. What a dominating performance here by the excellence of execution, the Hitman. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Now that will teach him to keep his eyes on his opponent at all times. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. There it is. Well done. And there's the reversal. Without a doubt, he's going to need to see a chiropractor when he gets back in the locker room. Bret Hart 
showing the excellence of execution here. Wow, what a counter! The shoulders are down. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. And he gets leveled. Here's the cover. One. Working on the body here. Easily avoided. Pushing him into the ropes. He got him. Nice counter. Steve Austin being pressed hard. Oh no, that slam didn't look pretty. And that wild attack won't find a home. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Not going to win many matches with that move. I can't believe the referee didn't see that. He's just getting dissected. Hoping to end a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Austin doesn't get tired. He gets mad. A very clever move. What a smart athlete. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. And Bret Hart makes him pay for all that. This has been a very methodical attack. He's got the shoulders down. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. And this is where Austin is the most dangerous when his back is up against the wall. Counter. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Whoa, don't get up. You can almost see the air rush out of Brett's body. Now Austin needs to capitalize here. You're right, another high impact. Looking to end it here. Two. No, a kick out. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. What a shot, right in the face. Hey, the shoulders are down. Showboating. Oh my God, he just smashed him. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Incredible move by Steve Austin. Austin, no! Incredible move by Steve Austin. Hey, this may very well be it. Both men are fatigued. Brett the Hitman Hart battled valiantly, but just ran out of gas.
ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face. That's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And instead, there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe him. His opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett Hitman Hart. And here he comes, Brett the Hitman Hart. You really happy to see him again, King? Well, I'm going to try to leave my personal history with Hart out of this, JR. Let me just say that, like this crowd, my feelings toward the so-called Hitman are mixed. Well, I, I hate to bring this up, King, but Bret Hart took a little uh, little turn on you when he knocked you on your keister. Yeah, and I didn't appreciate it one bit. Let me tell you, I think Bret Hart was out of line for doing that, as well as being out of line for the abusive obscenities that he hurled on live television. There's absolutely no excuse for that, no matter how... this man so-called has been screwed well well you almost called him a son of a no 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 i didn't well look out here we go oh that's gonna put an end to this one and steve austin is doing an excellent job dominating this match His strike hits nothing but air. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. Great offense by Bret Hart. Oh, nice counter. And there's another big right hand. Man down, man down big time. Inside the ring again. It's really and bashes him with the chair. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. Cracks him with the chair. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match not get involved of course i'll believe that when i see it back on the inside really pushing his opponent to the limit here Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual.
It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be... Well, that's it! Oh, and another vicious blow with that object. Oh, out of nowhere! His chest may be black and blue after this. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. That one went wide. Oh, now Austin is ready to rock and roll. Steve Austin is one tough SOB. Yeah, and he's kicking a big hole in Bret Hart. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. Textbook hold. And this is all but over. He's in perfect position. Complete control. He doesn't want to do this outside. Oh, you better be careful, Stone Cold. Oh! Austin if, he knocked, if he knocks Brett out, Brett can't say I quit. This I quit match, Ken Shamrock for referee. We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha oh. male? Nice leg sweep by the, by the Hitman. Man, this crowd is going wild, JR. They're, they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You got to think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good for the Rattlesnake. Oh, man. Red Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ow. The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. Here. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes the Campbell Clutch being applied. Bret Hart has taken control again. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. And now Bret Hart pushing forward. Well, we're on the move here. Camel clutch, locked on. Good grief, folks. This is agony. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. Bret Hart with the offense. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Oh, look at this, JR. Man, I'm telling you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look out! Look out. Oh, inverted atomic drop. And Austin, that's a low blow, technically. Again, a no disqualification match. Referee Ken Shamrock helpless to do anything about it. Now, what's the hitman doing? Uh oh, look out. Steel chair. Red Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh. Right to the leg, Austin in trouble. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is gonna be damn bad, JR. This is gonna be real bad. Uh oh, JR. You gotta remember that chair is technically legal in this match. What's Bret Hart gonna do? This is what Austin did to Brian Pillman. Oh no! Oh, oh the hitman trying to break Austin's leg. He may have just succeeded. Bret Hart mighty proud of himself after that move. And remember, Shamrock can't stop the match. Man, look at that. Austin 
is in a lot of pain, JR. Camel clutch locked in, wrenching on the neck and lower back. Great hold being applied. He fights out. That hand had a lot of force behind it. And a huge blow to his back. Good grief. How is he still conscious? Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. Like I said, those moves don't win the match in one go, but they add up. And boy, have they added up in this one. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Great counter. He's in full-on attack mode now. The counter. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. I think it's gut check time now. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. Back between the ropes. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. This is not the position you want to be in. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. I'm not so certain that this match we called right now. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. A spectacular counter by Steve Austin. Bret Hart reversing it. Incredible. What do we got here? Steve Austin being pressed hard. Oh, the hitman is so exact, so precise. He's measuring him for that dangerous sharpshooter. And there it is, the sharpshooter. Searing pain has to be going through that lower back. Remember, our guest here is... Well, I, I hate to bring this up, King, but...